I look like I'm picking my nose. <laughs> Hi friends, thank you so much for joining me today for another video. So today, per request, I am bringing you an updated highlight and contour how-to video. I did film a highlight and contour video like way back when I think like a year ago now, like over a year ago. Um, it was probably one of my first videos, so it's probably not that great since I did receive a request from one of my beautiful girlies that's part of the fam um, I decided that I was gonna recreate the how to highlight and contour video let's just jump right on ahead to how I naturally highlight and contour and I will be using very affordable products so you guys will be able to get your hands on the products that I'm using but otherwise you can use any drugstore like highlighter contouring kit there's a bunch of good ones out there so all right so let's just get right to it okay so the order in which I like to do my highlighting and contouring is usually I contour slash bronze first and then I go ahead and highlight the high points I just feel like that way um, you don't get your highlight all muddied up with you know the contouring shades so I'm gonna be using ColourPop products today I have my favorite pressed powder highlighter over here in the shade here kitty kitty that's gonna be our highlight shade for later and then I have the ColourPop pressed powder I believe this is called afternoon delight and it is a pressed powder bronzer it looks like this it's a nice and kind of warmer tone uh, for me what I'm gonna do first is to just like warm up my face a little bit by bronzing it and then I'll go ahead and chisel out a little bit more with a contouring shade so let's go ahead and take just like a big angled fluffy brush this is kind of my favorite way to bronze up my face I just feel like it just distributes the product a lot better and it just doesn't give you like a sharp streak which is more so of a contour than a bronzer if you are unaware the purpose of bronzing your face is to bring a little more warmth and a little more dimension to your face and the purpose of contouring is to take like a cooler toned shade and create like effects of shadows on your face so with that in mind I'm gonna first bronze my face so I'm just taking like a big fluffy brush and I'm not really worried about like chiseling out too much at this point I'm just trying to warm up my face a little bit because right now just with my foundation I look very flat like there's really nothing defined on my face right now so let's change that by bringing a little more warmth and I'm just gonna start out right in the socket of my cheekbone right here and I can usually tell because there's like a slight indent on the side of my face where my cheekbone kind of ends right here so I just put the brush right in that indent and blend it out. So already this is bringing us a lot more warmth and even more definition of the cheekbone. And I also like to add some to the jawline just to sharpen it up a little bit. Can you guys already tell like the difference here? Like this side already looks like a little more shadowed, a little more defined, but a little more like warmth to the cheek than this one, right? This one looks just it's cute but it's not as defined or it's not as warm I'm gonna go ahead and change that find that little indent and fluff it into place see like that it already makes a big difference do the same thing for the jawline here so now this cheekbone has some warmth to it and this cheekbone has some warmth to it let's move on to the forehead and what I like to do is I just like to look at my forehead and add some warmth to the sides of my forehead this kind of gives it more of like a rounded three-dimensional look and it makes the forehead not look so like flat you know because my my forehead I would say is probably more on the flat side so it's nice to give it this rounded dimensional look and I'm gonna add some to the top of my forehead too to make all the warmth uniform so that's pretty good for the bronzing portion I think there's already a big difference that you can see from before I had any bronzer on to now when I have bronzer on my cheekbones my forehead and my jaw area but now I think it's time to contour a little bit more so chiseling out creating those shadow effects with a cooler toned uh, powder I'm gonna use this NYX 
uh, highlight and contour pro palette I mean this is like 25 bucks or something and you get like eight shades <laughs> so that's pretty good and I'm gonna just take like this cooler tone shade right here these are warmer toned these are cooler toned and I'm gonna take this lighter cooler tone shade and I'm taking this in like a smaller brush this could almost uh, I mean I think this is a blush brush but I think it's good to kind of blend out like a little bit of contour on the sockets of your cheeks cheekbone sockets <laughs> so I'm just gonna take a little bit of this powder take a look at my cheekbone and I'm gonna add it just a little more concentrated in the cheekbone area this will really like emphasize the shadow even more and this is really different from that blown out effect i was creating with a bigger angled bronzer brush and just concentrating it right here and making sure it's blended really nicely now that's pretty good for the cheekbone portion actually i think this is even more than how i would usually want my cheeks contoured so I'm just going to take the foundation brush and pat it all around this bronzer slash contoured area to kind of lessen the effect of this contour. Because this is a carved out cheekbone, like my goodness. So let's just calm this down a little bit. So now that we have our cheeks contoured, we're going to move on to a smaller brush to contour our uh, inner eye area as well as down the bridge of our nose because usually <laughs> I need a little help in that area of my bridge you know being a little more defined so I'm gonna take that same cooler toned powder right here from that NYX palette and I'm just using an elf eyeshadow C brush it's like exactly what it says on this brush and I'm gonna go ahead and just tap off the excess because you don't want to go crazy all in one go so you want to just add powder right here kind of right under where your brow starts and blend 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 right under here and you can move down a little bit mainly it's to create the effect of this bridge being a little higher or protruding more off of your face just really make sure you blend this out make it really subtle so can you guys tell the difference now between this area and this area like it legit looks like this is protruding more than this side right the real key is to make sure you're seamlessly blending all the edges because as soon as there's a harsh edge it kind of gives it away and it doesn't look natural at all the trick is to like, get both of these sides like even in pigment because sometimes one side will be darker than the other and it looks really strange you have to just keep referencing checking and making sure they're pretty symmetrical and even i am gonna let you know that if you want to make your bridge even narrower just bring the color in even further inward but i just don't feel the need to do that um i think this is fine so i'm gonna now bring the color down the bridge of my nose and then under the tip of my nose i'm adding powder just to the tip of the brush and then taking the brush horizontally i'm adding it down my nose like this so can you already tell there's a line on my nose but it's like not crazy right same thing for this other side i do know that nose contour makes a big difference i look like i'm picking my nose <laughs> And usually to make sure I don't like muddy up my nose even further, I just take a clean fluffy brush that's still relatively small in size. And I like to kind of blend it out very lightly. You don't want to over blend because you don't want to just get rid of all the work you just put forth. But just gently brush over and kind of get rid of just obvious signs of a nose contour. Alright, and that is pretty much a contoured nose. Ta-da! Alright, so now that we have contoured pretty much 
all the basic areas of the face. We are going to go on to the highlighting portion and I mentioned this product earlier in the video. It is my favorite pressed powder highlighter and it has been for like many 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 months. Uh, this is Here Kitty Kitty by Colourpop. So I'm just going to take this brush. It's called the Setting Brush by Real Techniques and I love using this for just highlighting the tops of my cheekbones as well as high points of my forehead. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use that just lightly dust this highlighter product on the brush the positioning of your highlight just really depends on your face shape but it's kind of easy to tell if you have like a light source or you know even use your phone uh, flashlight for this application you just shine it on your face and wherever you see the light kind of catch right here you can see that this portion is lighter than like the rest of my side of the face that's where I would apply my highlight. So it's basically accentuating where it already is like shiny. <laughs> so I'm gonna just go ahead and apply it right here. Just gently at first. You don't wanna overdo it all in one go. It's always good to build it up rather than <laughs> put on a whole bunch at once that you can't really take away. Usually I like to highlight the temples too. It kind of gives like a nice effect of just being really glowy. So you can see this little L area is highlighted. I'm gonna keep building up until I'm pretty satisfied with just the intensity. <laughs> Look at that. That is gorgeous. I love this highlighter. I feel like this highlight is really, really nice for like my skin tone where it's like a little more yellow, a little more warm. Uh, this is a little warm, but it's not too warm. It's not like yellow or gold. It's definitely peachy, a little more champagne-y. So it's very friendly for my skin tone. Okay, so now that we have highlighted the tops of our cheeks as well as our temples, I'm gonna highlight just a little bit on the forehead. This kind of does like the same thing as what the bronzer did. It just makes it look like your forehead has more dimension It's and it's not so flat. I'm just adding it to where the light just kind of naturally catches. So right here. And then I also like to highlight a little bit on the chin, not too much. If you put too much on your chin, you're gonna have that look where you like ate a greasy hamburger or something and you forgot to wipe off your chin or something. So just not too much, but just a little bit or it brings the light to the center of your face a little bit more. But anyway, now I'm gonna take the brush and add it to the bridge of my nose and this is not nearly concentrated enough for how much highlight I want to add. I mean, it's pretty, but I usually like to add a little more concentrated amount of highlight to my nose. So I'm just gonna take like a flat, small synthetic brush, take a little bit of the highlight and I like to add just a tiny bit a small bit to the tip of my nose and now this looks like a little bit much so obviously you have to kind of dab it to make it look more natural and then you want to add a little more to the bridge of your nose right here so immediately it brings light to that bridge area and it looks like it's taller than it is so I think it's like a nice little trick oh and I just realized I forgot to highlight my inner corner, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This definitely helps in kind of like bringing light to the center of your face. All right, so that's pretty much it for all the places I usually like to highlight. I don't like to go overboard with highlighting and contouring because I'm naturally a more natural makeup person. I think this is naturally beautiful. It's still very well defined and brings out the features you want to accentuate. And I am a big fan of this type of contouring. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. And for those of you that are looking to do natural contouring and highlighting like me, then I'm sure that this would be something that you could try out and see if it works for you. As always, thank you so much for watching and supporting me. I'm really happy to sit down and just talk to you guys again. And I am so glad to just spend time with you. So uh, thank you guys again so much for watching. And I'll hopefully see you in my next one. Bye. Mwah.